welcome back to our news from sports. The Goa Cricket Association saga has turned another chapter. The election committee has issued a notice that GC elections will be held on 27th May, despite GCA Managing Committee declaration that elections are postponed. Chairman of the Election Committee, Dilip Daborkar, says he hasn't received any official intimation from the GCA and hence the committee's operation continues. Meanwhile, GCA Secretary Prasad Fathar Pekar says that the elections cannot go ahead on 27th May and police complaint has been filed against Dilip Daborkar for issuing the notice. This is a notice published in a local daily, according to which the GCA elections are on track and will be held on 27th May, defying GCA's orders. He was elected as a chairman and he, he was supposed to hold the election process until the 14th. Regarding his notice, which he has published in today's papers, that he has shifted his office and all, he is not authorized to do that. He was supposed to come to GCA. He has not returned to us. I am surprised he is saying there is no access to the office. Our office has been open since Monday morning. If he had not found any access, he should have written to the secretary or emailed us. Anyway, that is not the subject here. The election has been stopped. The committee has been disbanded. And he is acting illegally. Just now, with consultation with my colleagues and the president, I have filed a police complaint asking the police to restrain advocate Dilip Dabolkar from this illegal act. There are no election. This process is a farce. It can't, there can't be election. What does the club come over that day to vote? What does the club come over that day to vote? No, the process has <laughs> stopped. Okay. Yesterday was the day in the original schedule to file the nomination. It has not happened. It has not happened because the elections have been cancelled by GCA. Clubs are well versed with the bylaws of the association. Clubs won't participate in this process. I'm sure about it. You have a the club. Definitely. In a shock move, Prakash Fatte and Shri Krishna Tari have joined the 11-member committee of the managing committee that is now in charge of the GCA. Prasad Father Pekar expressed some shock over it but has welcomed their inclusion. Two of my colleagues, uh, senior colleagues in fact, Prakash Fatte who was the vice president mm -hmm. and Shri Krishna Tari have given us the support in writing today that they also stand by the original resolution which we had taken. Now it's 11 plus 2. It becomes 13 out of 14. I hope this message goes to, to my ex-president and he accepts the reality. Behind me are the premises from where the uh, GCA's election committee is functioning from. We met the ex-president Dayanan Narvekar a little while back at these premises. He said this has got nothing to do with the GCA but it has been uh, leased or it has been taken on rent by the election committee for the functioning of the elections which are going ahead. Um, we, we try to speak to the chairman, Mr. Dilip Dabolkar of the uh, election committee cordially and uh, politely when he asked us to leave the premises. He asked us to get up from uh, within the uh, premises that we were sitting across the table and uh, myself and video journalist Prajot Pednekar were asked to leave the premises and no such information was uh, furnished what we were asking. However, he did just tell us that uh, they haven't received any letter of cancellation or a, l a letter saying that they are defunct uh, as the election committee and hence they are functioning and the elections uh, are on uh, as of 27th May. With video journalist Prajot Pednekar, this is sports reporter Nikhil Pereira for Prudent Media from Porvori. Satario Montero scored twice to help his side Rubello Pendol Mina to win the Panjim Gold Cup. Satario scored in the 40th and 50th minute for the Mina Bay side. Malini boys had several chances to draw level but failed to do so. The Panjim Gold Cup, which ran for nearly three weeks, was organized by the Panjim Sports Festival Committee in association with SAG and DSY. Satario Montero was part of a better looking and composed Ribello Pendol Mina in the second half. The attacking striker made the best of both chances that came his way and lit up the match that was ruled by long ball passing by both teams. Maldini boys had several chances to draw level but failed to do so. The winners walked home with trophies and 25,000 rupees while Maldini boys were richer by 20,000 rupees and trophies.
BSY director Dr. Susanna D'Souza was the chief guest for the prize distribution ceremony with a few CCP corporators and Mayor Vaidehi Naik. Arjuna Awadi, Brahman and Shankwalkar and other members of the Panjim Sports Organizing Committee were also present on the days. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Prajot Pednikar from Taligaon. Don't worry, if you have missed this bulletin, log on to www.prudentmedia.in or you can also catch latest updates on Twitter by following us at Prudent Goa. Meet us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.